How's it going guys? Double Ace here and uh, as this guy in the comments, I'm just going to put the little screenshot up there on screen, uh, has suggested in one of my previous VU videos. By the way, shout out to that guy for a great idea for a video and also shout out to that guy for watching a VOD upload, a, a VOD upload of a live stream, obviously when it's no longer live and also it was like several months old live stream. So shout out to that guy for watching that. Um, and also, like I say, giving a great video. Uh, so this is just a tutorial how to install mods manually. If you are new to PC gaming or new to E4 or anything like that, and you do want to install mods, but through Steam, I'll put a time on screen now uh, as to when in the video I'm going to talk about the Steam side of this because I will add a short bit as to how to actually install mods from Steam Workshop uh, as at a certain point the process becomes the same once the, once the mod's actually installed. The process is the same so time on screen for when to skip to if you're looking for specifically just how to install mods through steam but if you're looking to install manually uh, this is how you want to do it first things first we're going to open up our launcher i am going to be using a mod that i uh, somewhat regularly play a specific mod called victorium universalis to demonstrate this install but it will work with any mod that is uploaded on any of the modding websites such as github um, whether it's a zip or not doesn't make too big a difference you don't actually need an unzip software to do this but obviously if you have one it does help uh, I'll show it without the unzip software because like I say you don't you don't actually need it um, although I do use one um, so first you want to go to all installed mods uh, and upload mod um, we want to create a mod call it whatever you want I'm going to call this one VU test because I'm like I say, I'm going to be using VU and I'm going to be testing it. You need to know the version of the game that the mod is updated to. If it's updated to the latest version, that's 1.37. If you want it to be compatible with any potential future updates, I would also do dot asterisk like that, just so that it knows that 1.37 is the base version. Anything on top of that, any small patches or anything, the mod should be able to recognize. Although, like I say, I would still recommend updating your mod if there is an updated version for any other patches. Like I say, EU5 has been announced now, so probably not too likely that there's going to be more patches going forward. Again, you want to create your mod directory. I'm just going to call it the test. And you don't need to select any of these. I always select map out of habit because um, that's how I was taught to do it. But this doesn't actually have any bearing. You want to create mod. That's the first step. Next thing I would do is I would actually recommend closing the launcher for now. And I'll explain why in a moment. And you want to go and find your mod online. Like I say, I'm going to be using this mod as a demonstration because this is the mod that I learned to do it with. And this is the only mod I use that is not on the Steam Workshop. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to find the code and you want to download it. Again, I'm not going to download it. I already have one downloaded ready. Um, you want to click download. It will obviously go into your downloads. Then from there, you want to come into your downloads folder. Again, I've created a folder here just to make things easier because you guys don't need to see everything that's in my downloads. You got it here. Uh, you want to open with, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open with Windows Explorer again. If you've not got a zip, unzipper installed, this won't be a big difference. You want to open it again. Then you want to get up a second window in your documents. Go to Paradox Interactive, EU4, Mod. And here you have your VU test folder and a VU test.mod. This is very important, so make sure you have one of these to go with it. You'll open it up and there'll be descriptor.mod. Nothing else needed. You want to drag this into there like so. It'll take a little while. This mod particularly is, is quite large, so it may take a minute. What we're actually going to do is I'm going to cancel this because I already have the mod installed, and I'm just going to show you it with the version I already have installed. So just ignore that for now. You can then close all this down once that has transferred over and everything is in the mod folder. In fact, I'm going to show you uh, it will look like this. You'll actually be able to see they've added their own thumbnail, and it will be everything plus the descriptor in there. You might want to refresh it just so it reorganizes, but that's not important. So you can close these down. Okay, so for those of you who are new to Steam or new to PC gaming and just want to know how to install mods via Steam, first thing you want to do is go into your library, go to the game and go to Workshop. This is the Workshop page for the game. You can find any game through the Workshop, but the easiest way is just to go to the game page and search it there. Then you want to find the mod that you want. So let's have a look, for example, top rated of all time. Let's have a look at Ambanar, for example. You just want to click subscribe, give it a minute, it will start a download. When that download is done, that's it, your mod is installed. And then you go straight back on to the launcher. I'm just going to let this download uh, so I can show you with this particular mod, uh, obviously, how to do it. But yes, yeah, this is this is the only this is the way to do it on Steam. 
it's it's not particularly complicated you just go straight to library select your game select workshop find a mod you can search for example you don't have to type in the full name but obviously the more accurate the better click subscribe it downloads and then you're good to go you can close steam if you want you don't need to straight away open up the launcher go to all installed mods and that's the reason why I suggest you close your launcher at the beginning is just so that you can refresh reload and it selects your mods if you do not manually install mods ever and you only use the steam workshop these will come up with actual images thumbnails and everything like that if you do it the manual way it will change the whole layout of this page so that it only shows you what platform or where it is sourcing it from so in this case it's sourcing it from steam this one is sourcing from my own hard drive then you want to go to your playset. Like I said, I'm going to use uh, Victorian Universalis as my tester for this mod. But either way, you, here's a playset I made earlier. You can create a playset by going here if you didn't already know. Add mods, VU, uh, VUMP, because again, the tester one is not actually installed, or Ambonar, for example. Add two to playset, back to home, VU tester playset, and you're good to go. If there is a triangle here, a yellow or a red one, a red one means the mod that you are trying to launch is not actually found on your hard drive so it will not work a yellow means that it is found but it is outdated with the current version of the game if it is outdated you can still start the game with it you can try and play with it but you may encounter issues so just be aware you may face crashes or anything like that when using an outdated mod but like i say it does still work i hope that's helped you guys know how to install mods on eu4 both manually and with the steam workshop thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one